All right, so let's do an example of Snell's law. What is the incident angle needed to produce a 60 degree refracted angle? So what is the angle needed to produce a 60 degree refracted shear wave angle in steel using water as first medium? So these are the four values I'm going to write down, theta i, theta r, v1, and v2. Theta i is the angle of incidence. So what is the incident angle, which is my question. <clears throat> needed to produce a 60 degree refracted so my refracted angle is 60 next shear wave angle in steel shear wave angle in steel so my second medium steel I'm going to choose the shear velocity in steel. And the water as the first medium. So V1 is going to be my velocity in water. From the table up there, velocity of water is 0 0.0584 and velocity of steel in shear mode is hiding up there which is 0 0.1270. This is an inches per microsecond. So, what does my Snell's law tell me? Snell's law. Snell's law states sign of incident angle divided by sine of refracted angle is velocity in medium 1 over velocity in medium 2. So sine of incident angle over sine of 60 is equal to velocity in first medium, which is water, which is 0 0.1270. Hold on, it should be 0 0.0584.
<clears throat> divided by 0 0.1270. So sine of incident angle over the value of sine 60 is 0.866. And the equation on the right hand side, 0 0.584 over 0 0.1270 gives us 0 0.459. So sine of incident angle is 0 0.459 times 0 0.866. So sine of theta i is 0 0.398 and therefore the incident angle is sine inverse of 0 0.398. Which gives me 23.46 degrees. That's the answer. Let's take a practice question here. What is the incident angle needed to produce a 60 degree refracted shear wave? angle in aluminum. Plate using water as the first medium. So solve this question and let me know the answer.